Hello. No pressure. No pressure at all. It's so good to see you. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. We love you. I know. Oh my God. Um, it is really something to stand before you. But, um, you know, 25 years ago, a high school English teacher sat in a windowless meeting room for one of the very first meetings of a new organization called the Gay and Lesbian Independent School Teachers Network, or GLSEN. She wasn't gay herself, but she wanted to help end the bullying, violence, and discrimination she saw directed at LGBT people in schools. She had seen her best friend hounded out of a job at one of the fancy New York City girls' schools. And she had seen, because she was a lesbian, and she had seen her own daughter struggle through high school. That woman was my mother. Yeah. And years later, she told me about that day, and she said, what I remember most was the fear I saw in that room. Remember what the world was like then. People were afraid of losing their jobs, and people literally slinked into the room past the door. They were sneaking in. But we all knew that something had to change. What a journey it has been from that meeting room to this ballroom. Yeah. In 1990, in 1990, no one talked about LGBT issues in K through 12 schools unless it was to hurl an insult or whisper about the drama teacher or play a game of smear the queer. Few people believed that LGBT youth even existed. After all, that was a choice you made after you went off to college. Uh, and GLSEN had to show the world that LGBT people not only existed in K-12 schools, but that they deserved respect. We had to support students who began to speak out about what they experienced every day. And GLSEN had to convince the world that bullying is not just kids being kids and sound the alarm that bullying is, in fact, a serious mental health crisis affecting all students. As we fought to raise awareness, we also had to show schools what could be done to make things better. We found and tested solutions and put them into action in tens of thousands of schools across the country. Simple and powerful and educationally appropriate solutions like GLSEN's No Name Calling Week and LGBT History Month and GLSEN's Safe Space Kit and Gay Straight Alliance Student Clubs, just to name a few. A few, yeah, <laughs> just a few. And Slowly but surely, these solutions took hold and began to work. Our fundamental conviction was and remains right. If you promote respect for all, make space for student leadership, and reduce bullying and harassment, you make schools safer and more affirming places for all students and clear a path to greater achievement and success for everyone. Right? And here we are today. Today, we can measure the positive impact our work has had on the lives, well-being, and achievement of students. Today, amazing people stand up proudly and say, I am GLSEN. And today, we look around a room like this and see our incredible family of support. And I want to take a minute right now just to say, if you are one of the host committee members who brought everyone together tonight, I need you to stand up so we can thank you. Host committee, please. Come on, don't be shy. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. And a special thank you to our fearless co-chair leaders, Jim Fielding, Dave Carger, and Chip Sullivan. And the great and powerful Oz, Kevin Brockman. Sorry, Kevin, you're not done yet. We need you with us because there are far too many places where this work is just getting started. Brave teachers and parents and students in places like Wichita, Kansas, and southern Arkansas, and right next door in rural communities in the San Joaquin Valley are standing up and stepping past their fear to make a change. We must, we must build on our accomplishments and make sure that change reaches every single school in this country. Yes, please. Since 1990, Glisten has grown, changed its name, achieved things, and gone places we would never have imagined possible. And through it all, the clarity and power of Glisten's central purpose has stood the test of time and lights the way forward. We are here to ensure the health, the happiness, the well being, and achievement of every child no matter who they are. And that, thank you. And that purpose brings people together. Lesbian, bisexual, straight, gay, transgender, liberal and conservative, young and old, and it resonates in communities both large and small, both across the US and more and more around the world. And because you are here, Glisten can be there, wherever hope and determination triumph over fear, and someone stands up to say, I am Glisten. Happy birthday, Glisten, and thank you all so very much. <laughs>